Hey, this is Gaby. I've been a furry for six years now, and thinking about it, I sort of became one by accident. How did this happen? Let's travel back in time. We're now in 2015. I was going through an identity crisis. I was depressed. Though, I fell in love with my little pony. Friendship is magic. Quickly enough, I began calling myself a brony. The show saved my life. Really? However, that's a story for another day. Bronies had their fair share of furries, never a laugh. It was quite common for bronies to trash on them. The hatred seemed mutual, probably because it permitted both found them to cope with their own insecurities. And because I was so young, I didn't hold a good opinion of furries at all. On top of that, confirmation bias did me wrong. Oh boy, it truly did. Let's say I clicked a couple times on hashtag furry, only to be astonished by the sheer amount of gif spammed by bots every single damn minute. Yeah. What changed then? Let's fast forward to the 26th of October 2016. Zabivaka. He was presented to the world and took the internet by a storm. Poor oh, wolf. Who knew it will be the first of many, many, many wolf furry husband loved and cherished by the community? See, as it was pouring into Google search results, some cool meme appeared, and I could not resist but use some as profile picture. The transition had begun. People started calling me a furry. And just like that, I became one. <laughs> not really. In the meantime, a first reader caught my attention. A retweet is all it took. Palace Beast's first read was dazzling. I could not help it. I followed them and broke through all their art. Not long after, I began liking more furry art than I could ever imagine. Eventually, Ursuthers compared their first sonas to Bagger's Dream. It was such a cool trend. And for me, it was the last straw. No pun intended. From this point onward, I was following more furry every day that passed. And just like that, I became a furry. For real this time. It took a whole year for me to stop lurking, but I remember that in early 2017, I was already labeling myself as a furry. Moral of the story, an imposing, massively big, squishy, fluffy stomper made me a furry. It is certainly not glamorous, but that's my story. What can I do? I guess I'll have pose. Thanks for watching, and see you around for more.